Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Hinterland, where Cash is king and Lady Luck is queen. Do you know what game show that's from? From an old 70s game show? I'll give you a little hint. Joker, Joker, Joker. Oh, man. If you get a chance, check that out on YouTube sometime and watch some of the replays of uh, Joker's Wild. It's it's cringeworthy, no doubt about it. Um, yeah, not good. Anyways, we are watching course play figure out how to plant soybeans actually doing a relatively decent job here we need to get these into the ground this month and get the rolling done well we probably should roll and weed from yeah we should probably get everything done this month um, and that kind of takes care of all of our field work here for a bit until I believe cotton comes in. I think cotton is going to be our. Is cotton our next? Let's see here. Growing, growing, growing. No, it looks like. What's up here? What did we plant up there? What is that? How soon? I forget. Mr. Canola. Okay, so canola's probably will be next on the agenda. Busy time last time we did, uh, we've put in some rentals, some summer rentals. We've added some production, our fish farm and mineral, uh, mineral spirits, mineral feed production. What else did we do? We, we upgraded our class with a new tractor. Uh, it seems like there was something else too that we did. Uh, yeah, we finished off this field, didn't we? That we're, that we're working on here with soybeans. Oh, and our new cow, um, our new cow pen facility. I'm going to hop out here real quick so I don't take the tractor with me when I jump. So our new cow pen facility is ready to go. I actually put uh, a bunch of TMR in here. I forget how much I put in here. A couple, two, three trailer loads, I think. We need to go buy some cows. So we need to go see Heinrich and get some cows in here. Um, when is milk, when is milk set, when is the best time to sell milk? Because we're going to have a lot of milk to sell, I think. So we could as early as September, but it's looking like January. We're going to have quite a bit of milk. Let's go see Heinrich real quick. See what that, see what he, see what, see what that dude's up to. What's up, Heinrich? Hi. What's up, brother? So, um, animals, cows, we need some cows, dude. Can you help us out? Can you help a brother out? Hi. All right, thanks for nothing. So we're going to run over to the um, animal lady. Still haven't really figured out her name, but I hate to ask at this point. How's it going, darling? Hi. Nice, ooh, nice hair, by the way. Um, cows, we need cows. Can you help us out? Uh, probably Holsteins. Like that big poster you got right there and this book. And um, what do we need? We need Holsteins and we need, what are the brown, the the brown Swiss dealios? Can you get us some of those? Hi. All right. Awesome. Where do we need them delivered to? We need to deliver them to the, is it the, I think it's the cattle pen, right? I should name these differently, but I think it's the cattle pen. Cattle pen. That's where we need so cattle pen it is we're not going to truck them over this time because that would take forever because we're going to buy quite a few so we know holsteins uh do dairy the brown swiss are dairy we don't want angus and limousine are beef cattle as well i believe yeah i think so so we buy only the best and the oldest too so we can buy 60 at a time. How much is that? 99,000 bucks. How much money do we have? Like 800 and 850, 870, something like that. Well, let's buy 60 Holsteins. Let's buy 60. We're at 783,000. <clears> 
So let's buy 60 of the brown Swiss as well. And let's buy another 60 brown Swiss. And you know what? Oops. And another 60 Holsteins. Yeah, let's just go for it. So what did we buy? 240? 240 cows, I think we just bought. Oh, well, hello. Excellent day. Let's see what kind of, I don't know how much food I gave them. Okay, so I gave them about 100,000 liters of TMR. Outstanding. I haven't brought straw over to them. I guess we can bring straw if we want slurry. I'm not totally geeked on slurry, but I guess with enough cows, we could probably bring in the pumps and hoses and uh, deliver slurry that way. I suppose we could go that route even. Um, I wonder how pumps and hoses would work with... I don't know that... You know, typically with the cow barns, with the cow sheds, right... Let's see here. If we go to animals and we look at the cow sheds, the cow sheds have this, that, that, um, I'm, I, I'm pointing to it and obviously it's not going to do any good for you all, but they have that distributor right there in front of us, right? For the slurry. So you can, I think you can take a pumps and hoses, um, pump and place it there and pump direct if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure this is going to work for that, but we can figure that out later. We may have to buy a different slurry storage unit, but if we get that far into it, we can definitely do that. But we might as well grab, I'm trying to think of for straw. We should probably go see how much straw do we have? We need to make sure we hang on to enough straw for TMR. So we've got 16 bales at 9,000 liters a piece. So that's quite a bit of straw. Plus we'll be getting straw from... We'll be getting more straw from... Where will we get straw? We do have a wheat field and oats. Do we get straw from oats? I think we get straw from oats, don't we? I forget now. But anyways, looks like our soybeans are going in well. Um, just kind of thinking through whether or not we just want to take maybe just a, a couple of... Hmm. Or if we just want to wait on bringing the cows. I filled up our slurry... Or I'm sorry, our TMR mixer. But we're going to be going through some more TMR now that uh, we've added some cows to the family. Why don't we... Why don't we take... Let's see here. Why don't we do this? Let's check our... Repairs. On our tractor and our spreader. Let's drop this spreader off and pick up our bale trailer. And we can take a couple, two, three, four straw bales. Straw does last quite a while with TMR. I think the ratios are such that it doesn't really use a ton of straw. I guess if worse comes to worse, we can buy a bale of straw, but I think we're going to be able to time it so we can get some straw from our next harvest. Man, that fence is taking a beating. I should park these things so that I pick them up the other way over there. Why do I keep parking them this way? I don't know why I do that out of habit, I guess. Uh, back up a little bit there, Vulture, just in case. 
So straw, let's take, um, well, four bales will be about 36,000 liters. Let's take eight bales of straw. We'll take half the straw over with us. We want our cows to be, um, you know, comfortable. Comfy and warm at night. And we should be able, unless I don't have this set up right, which it doesn't look like I do. I have a Euro pallet set up. That's not going to work. Uh, let's see here. We want round. We want square bales. I'm pretty sure these are 240. Evidently they are. All right. Can I get a strap? Thank you very much. So I hope you're all having really nice week so far. Happy Tuesday. Can Tuesdays be happy? They can be happier than Mondays, I think. Hopefully. Hopefully you're having a good week. So I'm excited. This week is our last old family farm episode the grand finale is this week and we will be moving on to a new throwback thursday map it's kind of bittersweet gonna miss the old family farm but i'm ready to move on i think i think we're ready to pick up some new challenges i think we're gonna enjoy this new map as well Those cows, do, those cows are going to be jealous. They're seeing this straw coming in, and they're like, wait a minute. Who's getting straw? We don't get no stinking straw. So I think if I unload... Yep, to the right, so tip side needs to be moved to the right there we go disable auto load that's probably a oh okay guess I didn't need to worry about doing that did I let's take a look at what uh, what they have now where's our where's our animals am I uh, <laughs> sometimes things right in front of you um straw yeah 72,000 Good deal. So we should start seeing a little bit of slurry production as well. I I don't think the straw impacts their health in this situation. I think it's just for slurry. But we'll try and we'll try and keep them happy uh, with that though. How do I get rid of the white line that's right there? Now it's in back, it's on the left, it's on the right. I'm not really sure even how you get rid of that. Does it just stay there forever? Disable, enable. That's weird. Huh. I don't know how to get rid of that white line. What button am I missing here? I'm missing some button. Enable and disable. You can change tip side. So there's back, there's left, and there's right. Um, I have no idea. If I let it go and pick it back up again, it brings that right back. Maybe when I load something, it goes away? Does it think there's still something on there? I don't know. That's weird. I'm trying to figure out, like... Whoa. Oh, I see what it's doing. So it's showing us the outlines. Well, that's kind of nifty. So it's showing us the different outlines for what we can... What it's going to look like when we pick them up. I would think enabling that would work. You just changes tip side. So there's got to be another 
There has to be another key combination. It's not universal auto load. It has to be precision, power, mobile, lumberjack. I wish these were in alphabetical order. That would be so nice, wouldn't it? Guidance steering field, follow me. Flegal timber runner, auto load, wood, nope. I think it's the palette, course play, color, realistic. This looks like, nope, auto drive. Pallet auto load specialization. Load pallets next to loading type. Previous toggle tip side U. Unload here. Show hide markers. Control U. Control U. Ha ha. Yeah. That was totally worth it, wasn't it? <laughs> I wish they, like, the help menus, right, don't show everything. Maybe they, there must be a limit to how many there it, they show. I don't really get it. I wish they would show the whole thing. Or maybe have, like, a minimal one and then have a full help menu available. That would be handy. So if I park this thing this way this time, maybe I won't hit the fence. I won't be so... So much hitting the fence. I'm a little crooked, Brad. That's okay. Get away with it for now. All right, little vulture, get out the way. Scooch on over here. Let's go check on our cedar. Ooh, just about wrapping things up. Excellent. <clears throat> so we can probably... I guess it doesn't really matter if we roll or weed. Let's go with weed first. Weed always comes first. Let's see if we can get this weeder set up here. Oh, I'm glad we got this larger weeder. It's been kind of helpful. We could actually step this weeder up even another size if we wanted to. I don't know how many horsepower um, that increases the requirements. Probably not much. 21.3 meters. We could kick it up a notch to 27.4. Let's do that. Oh, wow. Okay. That, that's a big weeder. I don't think that's going to fit even in the barn. <laughs> I don't think that's going to fit in any of our barns. <sighs> Whoopsie. Bigger the better, right? Go big or go home. Create job. Course play. Open. We do want one headland. I really... Yeah, we better do sharp. I don't like having weeds on the corners. But, you know, I've been kind of consistently choosing um, smooth, I think it is. And just doing rounded corners. And if you just do it every time, it doesn't look as weird. Does that make sense? It doesn't look like you're missing things as much. I like rounded corners better than sharp corners. Because then you... Course play just goes faster if it doesn't have to start, stop, start, stop with the corners. But... Alright, we're way over here. So let's go over and get a little closer to our start point. I did just update course play. Man, this weeder is massive. I wonder in real life if that's even available, that size of a weeder. It probably is. 27 meters? How many feet is that? Like 60 feet? I don't know how many... I don't do conversions very well. Where's our start point? Our start point should be... I thought it was over here. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, I definitely went the wrong way, didn't I? And I haven't done any smoothing on this field. It doesn't look... 
too bad. I don't mind some ups and downs. It's when you get into those serious ruts when things get a little bit, a little bit sketchy. It looks like our cedar is just about to finish up that last corner. Well, thank goodness we got some tractors with some horsepower. That is for sure. Oh, I love this weeder. Look at the size of it. Beautiful thing. All right. Did I mess you up, course player? You're going to be all right there first. Um, is the John Deere have enough power to pull this thing? We may have to switch to the other John Deere. Oh yeah, I think it's struggling. I think it's struggling. How many horsepower does our... This is an 8RX, right? Uh, how many... How many horsepower? I'm not in the right menu. There we go. That'd help, Brad. It's a large tractor. 458 horsepower. You would think that would be enough, but it sure seems like it's struggling a bit. Let's try... Let's try the... <laughs> let's try the 9 here. It's just finishing up, so good timing. We'll get, uh, we'll get this. Oh, you can see the flex on that. <clears throat> Actually, it's not so much the flex, it's the ground difference there. On how much that weeder is bowing out. Are you ready to unload? Can I disconnect yet? There we go. Hold on there, 9R. We're going to do a little uh, switch of rooney And I think what I'm going to have to do because of this is I can't swap course play courses. So so this is 458 horsepower. And I, and I would venture to say it was... It was struggling. So in comes Big Brother. And we are going to have to set up a new course. So create job, open up. It should all be the same. One headline sharp, generate. Oh, of course, it switches the start point on us over there. Not reverse, Brad. Forward. There you go. There you go. How many horsepower does this thing have? Isn't this thing in the 600s? Our 9620 RX is 670. So almost, almost an additional 200 horsepower. That's pretty substantial. Let's see. Let me turn that on. Oh, I see our start over there. Let's set up first waypoint. Oh, of course. Why not? Go ahead and fold it first. Let's see how the 9 does here. I guess it's not the 9RX. That's a, Is that a newer model? When they got rid of the, the rest of the numbers and they just went 8RX, 9RX? Or have they always done the, the multi-digit ones? See, I told you not to fold it. You were just going to have to unfold it again. I should check the maintenance on this thing. It's probably... Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I'll tell you what. I don't know that it's... Well, that was... 
All right, it's going to run around here. I was going to say, that didn't look like it was going to pull it much faster than the 8. What is the suggested speed for this thing? Where is our cultivator seeder, weeders, and 12 kph? Maybe that goes slower when you extend it for the bigger size? I don't know. Let's see what it does here on this pull. Well, it's pulling a solid 12. Yeah, I don't think the, the 8 could do this. I think the 8 was struggling a bit. That is a nice look, though. Man, that thing is massive. What does... Uh, oh, I guess I can't really see now, can I? I was going to say in feet... That'll definitely get the job done. 30 minutes worth, I guess. And then we'll have to line up the roller and get the roller done on this field. And I think that will take care of... Grass growing needs rolling. We have our first application of fertilizer already done. Next month, we'll have to do our second application on a couple fields and we'll be good to go. So I also think that's going to do it for this episode of Hinterland. Boy, that almost 30 minutes. That went by fast. Well, thanks everyone for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I'm looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow. We'll be back here on Hinterland Wednesday. And like I said, Thursday, you're not going to want to miss it. It is the last episode of Old Family Farm. And I'm going to tell you, I've already recorded it and... Stay till the end. You're going to want to stay till the end because it was, let's just say, sometimes endings write themselves better than I had planned. And uh, the ending was a surprise, to, as much a surprise to me as anything. So looking forward to you all seeing the final episode of Old Family Farm. Anyways, I'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much, by the way, for all the subscriptions. You, got, you all are awesome. And, uh, and I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.